G'day and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about the front lawn, talking to you about what's happening out there, applying the Lawn Tips Spring Mix Fertilizer, giving it the boost that it needs. But first, I reckon we should give this back lawn a bit of a haircut. Jeez, even if I do say so myself, this backyard is looking so good at today, 13 days post renovation. So cutting it at 25 mil, still got some patches where it is filling in and um, you know, that'll just take a little bit more time. There are the thicker spots where there was a bit more sand, but whew, overall, very, very happy with it. Took off about three catches worth of grass and I last mowed it two days ago. Absolutely nuts. But anyway, let's get out to that front lawn. Now this front lawn has been completely different to work with in comparison to the back lawn. Out the back I had a really thick, thatchy, spongy patch of grass to work with, so that was fine. I could re easily work with that. Out the front I haven't had much grass coverage and I've been trying to get it to grow and to spread and to fill in like my lawn type Kaikuyu naturally will, but it's just been a bit of a slow process. I started off here about three weeks after we moved in when the weather finally allowed me to in the middle of November by scalping the lawn, by scaring it and by top dressing I was doing that renovation pretty much at night um, and in the afternoons when I got home from work and then again later once my kids were in bed so I didn't have the time to core aerate got the core aeration done about two weeks ago when the rest of the lawn got or the back lawn got a full renovation I did then give it another light top dress just to fill in those core holes and any other little bumpy spots that were left after my first top dress just to fill those in get me get myself a nice smooth surface to be mowing this little front section here is by far the best part of the front lawn. This section here was one where there was really, really poor coverage of grass, but it's slowly thickening up and filling in. These two sections, I've sprayed some herbicides and I've been trying to kill some paspalum and gradually getting them to fill in as well. And with this nature strip, I'm actually running a series at the moment on my other social media talking about this and how I'm trying to bring it back to life. One thing I've done is some sprigging, planted some Kaikuyu runners into here to try and get them to grow and to spread. Lots of die off in here from spraying the paspalum, but also some really nice healthy patches of kike, which is great. In fact, this spot here was a really low deep spot where I filled in heaps the sand and I planted and did some sprigging um, and that's filling in really nice really nice patch of grass there as a whole though this entire nature strip is pretty crappy so trying to get those nutrients into it to keep it growing and spreading and filling in and eventually it'll take some time but this will be a fully filled in green striped up nice patch so it's just going to take some time and work so some fertilizer going down today but first a mow
definitely is pretty dodgy this front lawn but it's got to be kind to it i guess it is you know a week and a half post mini renovation it's filling in it's getting there it will get there and it's especially going to get there after i get some of this goodness out onto it So in the Lawn Tips Spring slash Autumn Mix, we've got the Nourish, the Vitalize, and the Brilliance products. Now what's great about these products is there's lots of soil microbes, which is gonna really help the nutrients that are in the soil to perform their best, to get the lawn looking and functioning its absolute best. Now I'm gonna link in the description below a video where Ben talked about the products a lot more in a video of his. But in short, the Nourish has got a really good balance of nitrogen and potassium, which is gonna be great for a little bit of growth as well as strengthening the root system. The Vitalize is gonna increase nutrient availability in the soil and the Brilliance is gonna give me a bit of a green up as well as some added benefits to the root system. So all of the rates on these products are clearly listed, really easy to follow, really easy to know how much you need both of the products and how much water needs to go in your sprayer. Now with kind of renovating this fully once and another half of a renovation, things have been a bit all over the place, but I'm gonna be aiming to apply this probably every four to six weeks now, generally towards the lower end of the range, a little bit more frequently at kind of the lower end of the range. And also because they are such quality products, I don't need to be applying them heaps and heaps and heaps. And this will be alongside a granular program as well. So mix that up get it out on the lawn. Based on these labels, I need about nine liters of water, which is great because I know that in this sprayer, nine liters walking at a slow pace gets me across here in two directions. So I'll fill up about six liters now. Now just quickly double checking with my boom attachment here is how high off the ground I need to hold it. So I want to get a nice even spray, so. Approximately that height. I don't know how well you can see the marks on the ground, but approximately that high off the ground is where I get a nice even coverage. So about there, cool. I've obviously used this multiple times before, but sometimes it's good to check and get your, your visual cues right before you start. Oops. All right, so those five sections of lawn added up are 180 square meters. So I'm gonna take these numbers per 100 meters squared and times them by 1.8. So for the Vitalize, I need 200 mils per 100 meters squared. So 360 mils is what I'm gonna put in the sprayer. 10, a little bit extra, but that's all right. The brilliance is 100 to 400 mil per 100 meter squared, but I want to run out of these products and ask Ben for some more at about the same time. So I'm going to do 200 mil per 100 square meters as well. So somewhere in the middle range of that product. So we'll do 360 brilliance. And the nourish is also 200 to 400 mil per 100 meters squared. So again, I'm gonna do 200 mil per 100 meters squared. So that I run out at the same time. And that's perfectly safe to do with applying products to your lawn. Especially when you get given a range of numbers, sometimes it gives you an exact mixing rate. But for things like this, you can, you can adapt. You can see what you need. If you think you really need a certain boost of a certain product, by all means use the much higher end of the rate. If you know that you, you know, you're probably not gonna reapply this for three months, then use the higher end of the rate. For me though, I know I'm gonna be doing this a lot, so I'm more than happy to do more frequently at the lower end of the rate. What did I just do then? 250? Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I'm gonna have to watch that back. Clean out the mixing jug. Now top this up to nine liters. Look, you're supposed to leave these things in, I'm sure, to stop crap getting into your sprayer, but I don't know, I'll just always take it out. Stir it up a little bit more. 
Now another good tip for using backpack sprayers is especially when it's heavier, if you're using a full 15 litre backpack, is to fill it up on top of a table or something like that so that you don't have to pick it up off the ground when it's a bit heavier to try and sling it onto your back. Um, I'm trying to get this glove off and I just can't. So now, you're gonna get me your gum boots on, and we're good to go. Way easier to spray that direction with the stripes on the ground. Pretty much nailed it there with my walking speed. There is very little product left. So I'm just gonna spray what's left on some new flowers and plants that I've put in over in that garden bed. Uh, and then a couple of the areas that need the most attention on this lawn um, can have a little bit extra of a dose. Um, but yeah, did well there. All right, so the sprayer is all cleaned out. Make sure you always do that after you use your backpack sprayer, whether it's fertilizers or soil weathers or herbicides, always rinse it out. Now what I'm doing is watering in the product. Now that might confuse some people because it says on the label to leave it on the leaf as a foliar spray for it to be absorbed that way. Now Ben has talked about this before in videos and I confirmed it with him uh, via text earlier today that you can use this mix either as a foliar spray which you let dry on the leaves or you can water it in so that it gets down to the soil. Because of the bare patches of sand that I've got coming back from a renovation at the moment, I'm taking the preference of watering this in to the soil because I've not got 100% grass, but I've got 100% soil. So that's my logic for today. I dare say next time I apply this, I'll be using it as a foliar spray because I will have 100% coverage. Yes, it will happen one day, especially if you've been following me on Instagram and TikTok, you know. This front lawn has been a battle, but yes, we are gonna get there. We are gonna have 100% coverage one day. All right, there we go, that's all done. Always feels so good getting that stuff out onto the lawn. It's like if you've been on holiday or something like that, you come home, you go to the gym, you eat a salad, and you just feel like a healthy, superior person. You've just given yourself the goodness. But anyway, great to have that done. I do want to say a big thank you to Ben and for his help and support with getting my first YouTube video off the ground. Uh, also to my wife, a massive thank you with that. She's been fantastic. I am recording this video early in the week just to give myself some time to get the editing done, that sort of thing. It was a bit stressful last week, but um, I'll probably come back on Friday, give you an update, probably another time after the back lawn, because that's just looking great at the moment for so soon after a renovation. And also let you know how this front lawn has responded. So we'll be back in a few days. And it is responding pretty well out here. Just given it a cut at 25 mil and also cleaned up the edges. And overall, I feel like the way it's been progressing in the last few days, we're definitely seeing improvements. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, these products, you have to buy them straight away. They're incredible. Definitely done a very good job as part of my program out here, but also the regular mowing, um, regular watering. In fact, actually, it's one of those things I think I could do more of out here in some of my bare spots is be watering more. But yeah, certainly um, the color has really improved a lot over the last few days. I think the lighting was a lot different. It was a lot more dull um, a few days ago. But yeah, the color on my healthy bits. The way I think some of my bare areas are slowly filling in a bit more, um, obviously a bit more time over the last few days for those patches of sand to be growing through and filling in. We've had pretty good weather, which has been helpful. It's the ongoing battle of the nature strip. That's slowly improving as well. And actually this section here with my hose reel is one where I think I've, I've really seen a lot of improvement over the last, not just few days from the start of this video, but over the last week or so as well. Plenty to come out here, but now let's jump out the back. And out on the back lawn here, things are going pretty nicely. I've just given it a double cut at 25 mil. This is now 16 days post renovation and it's 
just absolutely pumping. Took five catches off it today. I'm gonna have to get some plant growth regulator on it soon to slow down the vertical growth because I don't think I'm gonna be able to mow again for about four days. And this today was three days without growth. Five catches that I took out of it. So yeah, definitely gonna need to slow that down to make that a bit more sustainable. But that'll be it for today's video. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time.